hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to make a CRUD application in Vue.js application okay so we will be using an API to create this CRUD application so guys we have already worked with the rest API in Laravel and now guys let's install our Vue.js application and start building the CRUD using this API okay so guys now let's get started so first let's go to this docs on this quick start okay and here you'll find the create view application so let's click here and here is a method to install okay so guys before that make sure you have your node and npm installed in your system and which should match to some criteria okay so here it says that it should be above 16 version so now guys let us get started so first go to your any folder so i have chosen my one fund of byte folder here and now i am going to create a folder with the name view crud okay view crud so this will be my project name and i am going to open this project name with the vs code editor okay so now guys let's get started so first let's move to our terminal and open the terminal new terminal and now let's get back to our documentation and here you just copy this and paste so paste it hit enter and it starts the installation okay let me just keep it full width so now guys here you see it's asking for the project name now so i have already the project name called as view crud so i'm not going to type any of the name i'm just going to give dot and hit enter okay so it will create in this application so package name so package name means what project you are going to build okay so it's like i'm going to work on view crud so i'll give view crud only crud crud hit enter so do you want typescript no jsx no and add view router for the single page application if you want you can add it we are going to create a crud application like show read edit so we require a route to route the pages so let's give enter yes and here not required and white test for unit testing not required currently and add end testing solution not required no eslint no and here it starts perfect so guys you see that it's under view, view crud you have the application installed and now let us run this npm install to install the package let's type npm install hit enter so you can start seeing that guys the node modules folder is visible over here which is installing the npm node modules okay so guys you see that uh, our npm installation was successful and everything is installed so now guys you can see here npm run dev to run the application so before that you can see that vs code gives the extension what extension we need to use so let me click over there and here you see that it recommends us use view waller and other also so i have already installed that so it's not required let's delete this folder just press delete and move to recycle bin so now guys let's um, run this application so just type npm run dev hit enter and here you see guys that your application is application is starting perfect and it is started on this port so let's copy this right click and just get back to your browser and paste here perfect so guys you can see that our application is running fine and let me just come back to our src here you go to views here you see view okay home view let me type here some content h1 welcome to funda of web it save just control s and get back and here you see guys welcome to fund of web it 
all set guys so our application is running fine so now guys so first step let's go in this app view and just check for unwanted things and remove it so here you see guys we do not require you did it and this logos so let's remove all the unwanted codes here okay and we do not need any of the css let's move below and remove those things completely and then guys you go on to your home page so here also we have some codes let's remove this not required and instead that type in h1 this is home page and we do not require this setup right now and same condition goes with your about us page let's take it we do not require the css just this is about us page done and we have some components in this just ignore this or else you can delete and use for your components so we are not going to mingle with that we are going to work under a route views and app okay all set so now guys i just want to get back okay so now guys let's get back and see the output right now so here you see the different view is there still why because we are having some css in the main css file so we'll just remove that completely remove it we do not require any of the css here and in your base.css also we find some css code so we do not require from this body just remove it and these are the basic things we can keep it not an issue now we can close the main.css and base.css and now if you see you have this clean page so now guys for the user interface i'm going to use get bootstrap so now guys let's move below and here we'll see how to install this so here is a code or else you can move below and still you will get npm install let's copy this click to copy and get back and just install it your bootstrap so let me open the new terminal and paste here hit enter to install the bootstrap package so installation started guys okay so bootstrap is installed guys and now you can find that bootstrap in your node module okay done so here you find that bootstrap so let's import it guys so you can just go to your main.css file and as you have imported this the so same we are going to import the bootstrap so what we need to do just type bootstrap okay bootstrap so it will include its css let's get back to this main so we can find what's going on and now let's close this main.css so now guys you can get back and here you will see the difference it's coming like a bootstrap okay bootstrap fonts are loaded so now let's go back to the docs on the bootstrap search for the navbar hit enter and here navbar comes let's copy this first navbar and get back to your app view okay so here you can paste it as simple and instead of h tag i mean a tag you can use this routers router link okay so get back to your navbar here and wherever if you find a a tag just use a route link okay just use route link router link and wherever you find href just replace with two and go back to home and you can remove it and then again you'll find here let me remove unwanted urls which we don't require here tags all set so on this page make this to href to 2 and it will go on home slash and this will be a router link so r o u t e r l i n k link okay as simple now you can copy this paste here for the about 
let's not make active and here about will be there and this is going to about us page and then finally we are going for the student route so student okay students and here create a url with the students okay done and below this navbar only let me minimize it so here you'll find your route router view okay so this is your wrapper header and below that only you have a router view so inside this router view what happens you it will call this router index.js file and here is your routers okay so what you need to do here you find your home and here you find your about so next what you have to find for the student okay so what we'll do let's copy this anyone okay so here we paste and call let's end with comma and remove this last comma and call the path as students it will call that and here you set as students and here the component you are going to create okay so let's tell student view let's copy this and get back on the top of the page here import student view from the path okay so from where you have don't have a component yet so what we'll do we'll just go one step back and inside the view let's create one folder with the name students okay hit enter and inside that students will create a file with the name view dot view okay or index you can call it no not a problem let me keep it as view this okay so view student it will be much clear hit enter so now you have the path of your component let's go one step back and move inside the views folder and then you go inside the student folder students forward slash and then you call your view dot view file okay and now you get back here and as simple let's include the template guys so copy this and get back to your student view and here this is student page okay so now let's get back so here is our application perfect so you see guys that navbar has home page here if you click about it comes to about student student perfect okay so now if you want to design the bootstrap i mean navbar a little bit you can just get back to your app view and here you can use it instead of bg dark and here you can tell ms auto ms auto and if you are using a bg dark navbar bg dark okay let's save and you'll find that the navbar background is dark and here it comes okay all set so now guys uh, let me just remove this fluid done guys so guys in this video that's it and now guys let's continue next video with on the student page we are going to fetch all the students list from this api okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share